Good morning, guys. I'm here with Joyce. Joyce is my favorite person ever, and we have a lot of history together. Oh, my baby. And she's been doing my makeup since I was like nine. So today we're gonna do a makeup look that we used to do a few years ago. Just like super natural and easy and everyday Kylie Jenner makeup. We always start with a MAC Lip Conditioner Hydrate. I really like it because you can wipe it off if it's too much and then it's like the lip is perfect to add lipstick to. I feel like my lips get really dry. It's a problem. And then I'm just adding the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Like who doesn't want to use something that says magic? <laughs> <laughs> but this one is great because it really just blends into the skin. We use this light wonder. We're gonna mix the nine and the seven. But you just have to keep blending because it, it makes it more and more sheer and lighter. So I'm putting the seven on the eyelids and under the eyes just to blend in with the rest of the face. And then I just do a quick step instead of putting like a base coat on the eyes because we're doing a light look. We don't really need a serious, serious primer. I'm just using the foundation. So for the contour on the bridge of the nose, I come all the way down and around the bottom. And then also bring this contouring color into the crease of the eyelids. And then now I'm taking the highlight color and using my brush to make it a little thicker under the eye. I always go between the nose and the lip. And then I do right here, the corners of the eyes. We're all about enhancing our lips. And so I always do contour around the lip as well, which you'll find makes your lips look huge, which we love. You know what's weird? I've been into small lips lately. I kind of want them to look small, you know? No. Now I'm adding more highlighter to the bridge of the nose. We have even more contrast and a tiny little dot right in here. I'm gonna just sponge it, blending it into the skin. It's more pliable to the face. Now, instead of setting this, I'm gonna thin it out a little bit as well so that it just is a little bit more sheer and so it's so heavy. So it's kind of like we put it on to take it off. For this, we want it to just really have the contouring and shaping the face without the literal lines. I'm gonna use the powder puff. This powder is really thin, so it's good for setting. And I'll just like do the lightest touch and just really like make small layers with it. And then I'll come back with my brush and do one here. And I'm patting it on still with the brush and then sweeping excess away. We're going to add the Hula from Benefit. I love this bronzer. I like that it doesn't go on orange or necessarily brown. It's like the perfect glowing color. We're gonna do blush that is NARS Orgasm, of course. I'm obsessed with this color on most all skin types. It's really, really good just for a fresh color. Like, I'm not even really a blush person. So gorgeous. So I just pat it in right there under the temple on the top of the cheekbone and then sweep it in under the brow to the lower lid. And of course, with a smaller brush, we're gonna do the bridge of the nose and highlight the lip a little. What does that do? I don't know, I just think it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> so right now I'm just framing the eyebrow and I just do the outline of it. And then I always use a little pot and angled brush to make the ends of the eyebrows a little stronger and bring them out to a point. Then we're gonna do the clear brow gel. And I love wider eyebrows, so I always just brush the brows straight up and then over on the side. Okay, so to warm up all areas of the face, and this just helps to frame the eye and make it pop. And this just brightens up the eye a little bit. And I just add it to the crease. While putting on the mascara, I always um, let it hit the skin, just so it kinda adds a little bit more and then if it gets really too crazy and you can't get it off, I always use the thick spray and a Q-tip because it's a little too much for this look. I like to use it on the whole lip. So I line it, but then I also use it like it's a full lipstick. And you can make it more matte without our lip conditioning under it, but with this, I like to mix it in. Let me see in the mirror. So cute, old Kylie. All right, guys. This was the look for today. It's super fresh-faced and easy and just everyday Kylie Jenner makeup. 